Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, Miriam. How are you? Good today? evening. Better? Yes, teacher. Okay. So better. Good. Yes. Yesterday I was very sick, teacher. Okay, good. It's nice. Thank you, teacher. Nice to see you back. <laughs> You're coming. Thank you, teacher. Coming back. All right. Good. Hey, okay, hello, Thank Adrian. you. All right. Adrian, how hello, are you? Hello, teacher. I find teacher. And you? Good. Nice, nice, nice. Really Good. wait waiting for this class, waiting for the class. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready, class. Okay, good. Hey, Rodrigo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Very well. Okay. <laughs> Very good. That's nice. It's nice to see you. Yes. Especially on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> the, almost the beginning of the week. Okay, good. Hi, Diego. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I am fine uh, and really for this class. Okay, that's nice. That's the attitude. Okay, that's good to hear that. Hello, Evelyn. How are you today? Thirsty. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yes, <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I had, I had just finished my second cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, okay. we have a hello, Susana. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good. Um, very good. Okay. Ready. Ready. That's nice. I like to hear that. Okay. Excellent. Hi, Jorge. How Jorge is just connecting. Hey, Fernando, Joaquin, how are you, sir? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. What about you? Good, good, great. You always, you always, uh, yes. do, do you go to the gym, Fernando? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you always look, you look, you look fresh all the time. Yes, yes, I'm fresh. Right? Okay. That's I took a shower before the class. Yes, that's good. That's nice. Yeah, because yes. it's, now it's kind of hot at this time. Okay, good. Sure. And then who else we have Adrian? Now everybody's moving in my screen. So we have Fernando, we have Jerry is here too. Ismael, hello. Nayansi, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, Judith. Hi, teacher. Hey, hello, hello, Claudia. Hello. Long time. No hello, see. how are you? Long time no hello. see. How are you? <laughs> you have you haven't you have an echo. You have an echo. Huh? The echo is working. Excuse me? The, no. the echo. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? How are you? <laughs> A little voice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right. Good. Then we have how many? We have uh, like 14 people. Okay. We're going to get started with the. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to take uh, a screenshot, but after because. I'm going to give some time for the rest of the class to log in. Okay, what is this? One. Something is happening here. Okay, it's appearing something new. Maybe it's a new feature of Zoom. Kind of weird though. Okay, so we're gonna share this one. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> Okay, so here we are. 
remember last night we were talking about we were talking about places compound nouns gas station okay this is a short one hi everyone In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So this were just, you know, the words. I would that, like for you to. The last words we were practicing last night, right? They say post office, gas station, so on. Then uh, it says uh, learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Okay. So we have the, the vocabulary is the preparation, right? For what, it, uh, for what it comes next. So the next uh, topic is the preposition of place. Uh, what are some prepositions of place? Um, between, exactly. across. Uh -huh, very good. Okay, so we have in, on, a, also under, okay, under is a preposition of place, but not for this topic, okay? For example, the, for this topic, when I use the ones that Evelyn mentioned, it says in, on, between, okay, across from, okay? And then we would use them because we need to give directions, okay? to give, for example, a location so that you can identify where a place is. Uh, suppose I ask you, where is, um, I don't know, where is the uh, UCA University? Then you say, it's on Los Proceres Boulevard. Okay, it's on Los Proceres Boulevard, simple, but, Los Proceres Boulevard is from Uca to Cuscatlan Stadium, okay? 
So it's a very uh, long distance. So we need to be more specific, right? So where is Luca? Okay, it's on Los Proceres Boulevard across from Los Proceres Boulevard. Yes, Los Proceres, right? Los Proceres Boulevard across from Getcom. Yes, Getcom is a call center. Okay, before it used to be Panades, now it's a call center or across from McDonald's, I think it's a McDonald's in the corner. Okay, across from. Okay, so this is, you know, more specific, okay, to give a uh, locations. So this is the what they mentioned here, learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how to use this topic in real settings, real life settings. Okay, so we're not, we're going to be using this map. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. 
our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, before um, I stop the video here, any questions? No questions? Everything is clear. Is on the It's across from the park. Okay, so these are you know uh, some of the propositions that uh, we need to use, you know, in order to give uh, locations, right? It says prepositions of place. It says uh, on. On is the when you are when you take one street, right? For example, you can say on. Where is, for example, Metro Central? Metro Centro teacher is, is, is in front, uh, se llama? Uh, Camino, uh -huh, con Camino Real Hotel. Hotel yes, it's across, uh -huh. across from. Ah, across from. Okay, across from, you will use this one. Okay, across from. One place to the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can say is on Los Proceres Boulevard, across from the uh, Camino Real Hotel, between Cicimile and what is your uh, Metro Centro is between and Metro Sur and gas oh, station and the name uh -huh, by the name and the names of the streets yes but uh -huh, you can metro sur is okay and the gas station but do you remember the names of the streets because i just remember the this is emilia street and the other one i don't remember okay but then uh then you can say for example to give a reference you can use it's on the first and the boulevard across from the, the camino real hotel between and then you say the names of the streets Okay, so that is a very exact location. Or you can use, you know, between Metro Sur and, and a gas station. Okay, so that's another, another ref, reference, okay, that you can use. Okay, so we have the other one is on the corner of, you can see that it's exactly here, right? Uh, can you tell me a place that is on the corner of something? Algún lugar que esté en la esquina de algo que ustedes conozcan. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, computer data, data, data system is, is on the corner of. Uh, así, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. on the corner of what? Uh, First Avenue. On first, the first avenue. Thank first you. Avenue, first avenue in? 
Ok, uh -huh. but here, when you use on the corner of, ahí es importante decir las dos calles, right? Ah, oh, ok. Because you say it's on the corner of First Avenue, pero First Avenue tiene varias esquinas, right? Uh -huh. Pero con cuál es the one that you make this, the, the corner, right? Uh, here in Salvador, it's difficult because we don't use uh, the names of the street very frequently, right? Uh, that's uh, that's why sometimes we forget the names. Um, and in the street don't have the names. No anda caminando y ve y esta que calle es. Quién sabe, right? La que lleva el volcán. <laughs> okay, we say la calle de Santa Tecla, Santa Tecla, we say, de Santa Tecla, we say, right? You know? Then sometimes they say Manuel Enrique Araujo, and then this is the other one. And that in some streets have different names. Okay, uh, Rubén Darío comienza donde? Creo que a donde estaba el edificio antes, right? O ahí por el Parque Libertad, maybe, right? Por ahí para abajo creo que es Avenida Peralta or something like that. But Rubén Darío, when this... Sí. When you get to the Cuscatlan Park, se convierte en la Manuel Enrique Araujo, right? Hasta que creo que llega Santa Tecla. And then after, you, I think it has Panamericana. It has, the same street has like three or four different names. So then it's, it's complicated, right? Sometimes uh, the, the names of the streets in El Salvador. Okay, then you have next to, okay, and this are the other ones. Okay, questions? No question, teacher. Okay, very good. Para decir tras de un lugar? Behind. You can say uh, behind. I'm going to write it here in the chat. Say behind. Okay, this is when uh, when something is at the back, right? Atrás de. For example, if you uh, if we think the front part of the uh, Camino Real Hotel is on Los Proceles Boulevard, but behind behind the hotel there are many little restaurants. Yes, and they say where are where is this restaurant? They are behind the. Uh, Camino Real Hotel. Okay, so then you can use this kind of things. Now, think, for example, where is the National University? Think of uh, references, right, that we can... Uh, sure. Uh-huh. Uh, si, si... So, so, quiero ver, si yo quiero decir alcaldía, ¿verdad? Alcaldía, City tengo Hall. que decir administration public. O sí, o sí, sí, hay. No, City Hall. ¿Alcaldía? ¿Cómo se dice? City Hall. City Hall. Ajá. Uh -huh. You only say City Hall? City Hall. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Then that is the, the, the name. Let me write it here. Where is the chat here? You can say, for example, city, city hall, the, the Santa Ana city mm -hmm. is in front, in front the park, the Libertad Park. Okay, city in Santa Ana, in Santa Ana. Yes. Okay, good. You see, no había que había un parque Libertad en Santa Ana. Okay, we have another one here, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Then you say, for example, the city hall of Santa Ana is across from the Liberty Park. Or you can use El Parque Libertad. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, what else? Across from the Liberty Park. Across from the mm -hmm. Liberty Park. Enfrente de, right? The Liberty Park, yes. Liberty Park. Thank you. Okay, good. Good example. Another one. Piensen en otro ejemplo que puedan utilizar. Teacher, uh -huh. in my in my in my downtown, uh, uh, the San Bartolo del Norte School is on in Boulevard Las Pavas. Okay, San uh, what is the name of the school? Uh, San Bartolo del Norte. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, 
y es, school is on in Boulevard Las Pavas. Is on Boulevard Las Pavas. Las Pavas. Very good. Excellent. Okay, good. What else? Try to use between, under, somewhere rocky or something about the... He says Universidad El Salvador is next to Centro Escolar España. Okay, very good. Nice. Sure. Uh, other, ah. other teacher. Uh -huh. For example, uh, the supermarket is supermarket on Avenue Avenue in, in es Avenida Independencia, pero es independent. ¿Cómo se pronuncia independencia? Independence. Okay, the super in the, uh, yeah. for, for example, in the supermarket is Independence Avenue. Okay. Then you say the supermarket is on Independence Avenue. The supermarket is on Independence Avenue. Very good. Yes, that's the idea. The idea is to have the idea that, that you need to use on, right? Where is the supermarket? Ah, it's on Independence Avenue. All right. Where is the Bloom Hospital? Where is the Bloom Hospital? Teacher, um, teacher. Uh, yes, Jorge? I have only uh, a question. Uh -huh. uh, can you explain uh, how can, can we use in and on in this occasion? Now, in this case, uh, for example, in, in, in this one, in is not, uh, it's not included, right? So you can use on. Only on. Uh -huh, on between. Yes, that's what I did. But in is a preposition of place. For example, when you say, hey, where, where are your books? Oh, in the bedroom, in the living oh, okay. room. Okay. okay. That's why it is a preposition of place. But for mm -hmm. the, to use it in directions, it's not a commonly used. Unless you say, where is, for example, where is, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, where is the Cuscatlan Park in San Salvador? Uh -huh. But it's very general, right? In San Salvador. Uh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Where is uh, what is another one? Where is the Atlacat statue? It's in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Okay, it's Antiguo Cuscatlán. Uh, let's say uh, in front of the Defensa of Juan. Okay, good. Okay. And then on the teacher. Mm -hmm. teacher. Okay. Mm. Wait, wait, somebody said that I have a man's voice first. Who was the man speaking before? Teacher. Okay, Claudia, tell me. Yeah. Uh, you, you, este, por ejemplo, hacía la pregunta sobre el hospital Bloom. Mm -hmm. The hospital, the, the Bloom hospital is in, is in 23... 23 Street between between and entre, verdad? Yes. Between 16 Avenue. Uh -huh. Entre sexta, entre 23 calle Poniente y sexta avenida es 23 Avenue. Este Street, verdad? Yes, it's three. And six avenue. Okay. Yeah, because it's a oh, very, between very, very spring. Avenue. Okay, the first one, okay, the first thing is this. Okay, to, for you to have a, a good idea is, eh, ¿qué decimos primero? El frente de la, del edificio, right? ¿Dónde está, hacia dónde está el frente mm. del edificio? Que ni yo, oh. que no lo sé, no lo no, sé. No, que conste que no sé. Está sobre la ¿Sobre la 25 o sobre la 20? 20 la 23, creo. Ok. Vale, digamos, entonces decimos, it's 25. on. ¿De la 25? Ok. Sí. Si el frente del edificio está sobre la 25, we say, it's on 25th. Ok. Es la 25 calle, right? Es street. Ok, it's on the 25th street. It's on 25th um, street. Y luego vienen las otras referencias. Between 6th uh -huh. Avenue. 6th Avenue and 23rd Street. Aquí oh. es que el poniente puede usar el West. 
Okay, well, yeah, east for the Oriente, right? So, then of Oriente, the, the other side. Okay, pero primero la referencia okay. es el frente del edificio, on. And then, los mm -hmm. between, si está between or next to. O a la par de algún otro edificio. Okay, ah, okay. Así ya no se, se organiza para dar la, la, la dirección. Good. Yes, Teacher. Miriam. Teacher. Yes. I can, I can, uh -huh. yes. Can I? Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I can uh, give my, my opinion. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, for example, teacher, how do you say especialidades? Special. For example, uh, el hospital de especialidades del, del, del IS. Specialties. Uh -huh. Specialties is uh, a hospital. Hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Specials is hospital. Is on uh, Puerto Bus. Okay, on uh, the terminal, bus terminal. Bus That's terminal uh -huh. in, in Juan Pablo II Street. And then it's between La Tutunichapa and the Governor Center. And uh, the yeah. Governor Center. Centro Gobierno. Uh -huh. It's between, uh -huh. Centro de Gobierno. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh -huh. especially specials is hospital is to it's on is is uh -huh, is on uh on the termin bus no but bus? on what street Puerto sobre, bus. sobre cuál calle okay Juan Pablo Second Street okay on Juan Pablo and II. and it's between uh La Tutunichapa en el centro de gobierno. En el centro de gobierno. Very good. Uh -huh. That's the one. And then you have an idea, right? Okay, then you know, okay, Juan Pablo II, then you, okay, the Tutu Chapa, yes, I know, and then, and then you have the reference, okay? Okay. So it's in front, it. it's in front Puerto Bus. Across from. A across from? Across from Puerto Bus. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Teacher. that's the bus terminal for Guatemala buses, right? Yes. Okay, then this is the Guatemala terminal buses. Okay. Because, okay. or you can say Puerto Bus because it's a, a, a how do you call this? It's a number proper, right? But in English, you have bus mm -hmm. terminal, train, train bus station, terminal. Uh -huh, or bus station. Okay, oh, okay uh -huh. teacher. The Thank bus you. station for, uh, for buses that go to Guatemala, but it's too long. Right? Okay, good. Another reference. Me, teacher. Yes, go the other. Uh, National Library is across from Gerardo Barrios Park. Oh, yes, okay, that's good. Uh huh, that's a National Library. Good. Good. Now, you... can say, teacher, I can, I can say. Can I say? Can I University say? Francisco Gaviria is near of Salvador del Mundo. Okay, that's another one. Uh -huh. It's not very specific, but it's correct. It's good. Uh -huh. Then you say Francisco David University is near Salvador, is Salvador de Mundo, right? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. What else? Evelyn, que se conoce todos en Salvador? No. I'm from San Miguel Oh, you, you, really? That's great. That's por eso que lo conozco. Yes, but I only know my words. Entonces, okay. my work is across from Domino's Pizza, Loma Linda. Okay, good. Across from, it's on, but it's on Loma Linda Street or Avenue? Yes. No, uh, yes, Loma Linda. Okay, it's on Loma Linda Street, across from... Across um, from Domino's Pizza. Okay, really good. That's nice. Okay, Fernando, Rodrigo, yes, everybody. Me, me, sure. Yes, In probably. Santa Tecla City. A selecto supermarket is across from um, San Martin Park. San Martin's Park. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. That's a good reference, you know, because most people or many people know San, San Martin's Park. Okay, good. Uh, and Ayansi or Hazel, I don't know, somebody who wants to. Catherine. Yes, Adrián. Eh, Mágico González Stadium is on 20 Avenue North in front of the 
911 police station. Okay, good. So it's uh, it's on 49th Avenue, right? Uh, 29th Avenue yes. North. Yes, North Avenue. North Avenue. Yes, okay. it's on 49th North Avenue. Very good. Excellent. Okay, good. Anybody else? Not, not to practice, don't worry. Yes, uh, Nancy. Um, Galerias Mo mm -hmm. on uh, El Paseo. Okay, it's on Paseo. Uh, mm -hmm. Across from what? Across. Uh, Cebollines restaurant. Okay, across from the Cebollines restaurant, yes, okay. And then you say between the two streets, right? There are two streets that I don't. Uh, between the station. Between, between gas the gas station, station and? And Socalo restaurant. And the Socalo restaurant, okay, very yeah. good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see you have the reference three places in this street. So then you don't get lost. Okay, good. Another one. Teacher, for yes. example, uh, the cathedral. Cathedral? Uh -huh, is, is across, across, uh, across from uh, the uh, Plaza Barrios, teacher. The Plaza Barrios. Yes. Is, no, no, no. Wait, Catherine? Yes, uh, Miriam, yes, it's a cathedral. It's across from La Pla uh, Plaza Barrio. Plaza Barrio, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, Catherine, yes. Catherine Albaguero. Uh, no sé muy segura, pero mm -hmm. Las Cascadas is next to Multiplas. Um, yes, we can say that, or at least we can say near or close to. Yeah, because, it's not, because there is a there is a, a street okay. that separates. But you can say, for example, uh, Las Cascadas Mall is next, mm -hmm. uh, it's near near the plaza or close to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they don't use they don't use. Okay, gracias. Okay, they don't use um, uh, near and close to in the in the example but they are useful, right? So they are also expressions that we can use near to or close to. Okay, I have, for example, um, say, uh, Miriam, yes? Teacher, for example, uh, Walmart Soyapango uh, is, is on in the Boulevard del Ejército. El, uh -huh, the El Ejército Boulevard. Oh, Ejército yeah, because Boulevard. You, can have, you have to say the Navy, the Navy Boulevard. So, but, not, but nobody will understand the Navy Boulevard. So that's El Ejército Boulevard. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then it's in front, it's, uh, no, it's across from the Plaza Mundo. Across from Plaza Mundo. Okay, so that's uh, yes. correct. That's correct. Very good. Okay, good. Uh, then these are, you know, uh, ideas on how to, okay, how to um, uh, express, right, or give locations. Estas son ubicaciones. Después vamos a dar directions are como go to the corner, turn left, turn right. Okay, that's another, another topic. These are only ubicaciones. Now let's see the next one. I think, I think it's the next map. Okay, and then we have, there is a little knowledge check here. And then we have to listen. Okay, I will play this audio first. Only listen. La primera vez lo vamos a escuchar y luego lo vuelvo a poner ya con with the image, with the map. Page 89. Exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. 
Where are the people going? 1. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. 2. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. 3. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. 5. Okay. Page 89. Okay, now we're going to go back here and then we have to answer these questions. Where are they going? We have three options. Where are they going? Okay, now we have three options. Where are they going to? Three options and the same question with the three different options. Okay, now listen again. And then we, now we are going to exercise six. Answer the question. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. 3. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street. Next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on Second Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and Second Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so let's check the answers. Okay, what is the first one? Where are they going? To the bank. To the bank, right? Because they say is between the what Maria's restaurant and the department store. Okay, what about the second one? Where are they going? No? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Baby's Drugstore. Baby's Drugstore? Okay, but then let's do something. Don't worry about this. Page 89. Take a look at Exercise 6. Listening. Number Where is it? Number one. Look at the map in Exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Main Street? Okay. 
to happen. Where are you supposed? Ah, okay. This is a technical issue. Now we have to reopen the file in here. Page 89, exercise 6, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Okay. Is it near? So then, if you see in the first one, they are talking about the bank, right? You see? The bank, see, bank. Uh -huh. Exactly. And they give the reference of the Regency movie, the name of the street, and they also give the name of the restaurant, and they say it's between Laugh the Farm and Store. Okay. All the reference that we get to see the map. Near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J Supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, what are they talking about? Three. Where is it? So in the first one, they're talking about the bank. And in the second one? About the drugstore. About the drugstore, right? Yeah, there's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? He says, is it near Maria's restaurant? He said, is it near... Okay, they are using near here. Near uh, Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to what? Next to the supermarket. The supermarket. Uh -huh, this is the supermarket, it's at the front door, and it's next to. Then, you are right, it's talking about the drugstore. Okay, now next one. P&J Supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Okay, what are they talking about? Maria's okay. restaurant. Now they are talking about Maria's restaurant. Okay, good. And the last one. The last. But Four. Not last. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Next to house coffee shop. What are they talking about? Favorite tools. The favorite tools. We have here favorite tools. We submit it, and then we have 33 points out of three points. That's good. Okay, so you know these are you know the also tips and strategies to do listening exercises. Good. Now, uh, you did could you please help me reading this objective here? By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and give directions 
Additional, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, good. So what is it here? Now here comes the music. Okay, now we're going to use the vocabulary like turn right, turn left, go straight ahead, okay? ¿Alguna vez tuvieron problemas de later lateralidades en el kinder? No, nunca confundieron la izquierda con la derecha. No. Yo todavía. Yes, yes. Always. Always, yes. Okay, well, turn left. You know, no, la otra izquierda. The other left. Okay. <laughs> so then, yo tenía dos izquierdas. Dos derechas a veces. It depends. No, but, uh, but then uh, here the idea is to concentrate on the maps, right? Because this is what we are going to see, how to give directions. Then remember, important thing is left and right. And then words, the palabras clave, like keywords, turn right, turn left. Okay, yo creo que para ustedes es el revés, right? Turn left, turn right. And then the other one is go straight ahead. Go straight, okay, it means sin cruzar, right? Go straight. And then turn on Second Avenue, turn right on First Avenue. Okay, those are the, the key words. Now let's listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving... Is it far from here? Okay, uh, only one thing. Okay. Alguien me preguntó, ¿no? como dice detrás, right? Behind. Eh, si escuchan acá, él dice behind. Ok. Las dos, las dos pronunciaciones, the two are correct. You can say behind or you can say behind. El behind es más al sur de los Estados Unidos and behind in the north, right? Chicago, New York. Ahí se va a ir un poco más el behind. Or sometimes in England. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down 5th Avenue. Go down 5th Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So, let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be 
walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now, let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down 5th Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Okay. Questions about the vocabulary? What are the new words that you that you saw? For example, walk um, uh, down and go down. Uh huh. Or you can use the opposite, right? Yeah. Walk up and go up. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And but what is it, what is something about those two words? Que es algo que se ve en esas palabras? Like go down and walk down. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What is the difference? Eh, no sé, para mí el, el caminar e ir. Exactly. Los verbos, walk Ajá. and go. Perfect. Excelente. Eh, ¿Y cómo lo usaríamos para ir? O sea, ¿por qué, ¿por qué están las dos formas? Eso le iba a preguntar si era lo mismo. Ok, yes. Good. It's exactly it's the same meaning. Lo único que a veces... Si le dice uno, como, like, like you said, como usted dice, por ejemplo, go up, es vaya hacia arriba, ok, o sea, suba, en the other side, walk up, camine hacia arriba. Obviamente, si uno va en carro, posiblemente le digan drive up, o le diga go up, pero si uno va caminando, obviamente le van a decir walk up. Esa es la lógica de esas dos frases, es de, los significados lo mismo, si va caminando, dice walk up, o siga caminando hacia arriba, o go up, o siga hacia arriba. Okay, that would be go up, it would be like siga, right? And then uh, that would be the difference. And the same with walk down or go down, the same logic, okay? Two different okay, words to sure. say the same, okay? What else? Another uh, probably doubt or question about the vocabulary you use. Okay. Then uh, what I'm gonna I'm going to share with you later uh, two maps, two more maps. Okay, the way out of those maps. Mañana vamos a practicar all this vocabulary, okay, in groups. Then uh, we're gonna use the we're going to use the map in the in the video uh, or in the material that you have, but I will give you other two maps. 
similar, right? Similar to this, so that you can have other other options to practice. And then we're gonna use, for example, okay, how can I get? That is the question that we have to practice. How can I get to, let's say, to uh, Empire State Building? How can I get to the, let's say, to, uh, I don't know, to the, what is the one? To the Rockefeller Center, okay? How can I get to any place that you can imagine, right? For example, here, we have more and give directions. How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The St. Patrick's Cathedral, these are the mo like the most uh, popular, okay, places in, in New York, right? There you have St. Patrick's Cathedral, the Fifth Avenue, you know, if you want to buy things. Then also you have the library, okay? So these are, you know, like the most common places and how to give directions. Then the last, uh, now this one is gonna be for tomorrow because first we need to practice it. Okay, guys, if you have no more questions, I will set you free. Los liberaré, so that you can go to bed, okay? And rest and dream, okay? So see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. See you, teacher. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. God bless you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.